All right, welcome back to another tutorial video. My name is Nate Jennings, and today we're going to learn how to vocal cut. I'm gonna go into the processes. There's three ways you can do it that I do. I'm gonna show you just like a quick uh, run over of how to do it. Um, hopefully it helps. Sorry that I haven't made a tutorial in a while, uh, but we're back. We got a new recording, uh, screen recording software, and we also got a new layout as you can see. So I can't wait to get into it. So let's hop straight in. So the first thing we need to do uh, to make some vocal cuts is get an acapella. You can choose any acapella you want. I'm going to choose Sunflower by um, Sway Lee and Post Malone. So I'm just going to drop that into my project now. All right, so now we have our acapella. What we want to do is fit it to tempo. So we want to change our BPM down to 128 beats per minute, just like that. We want to click the button here. This brings up a heap of uh, different options. You want to go fit to tempo, click on that. You want to go 75 to 150 because 128 is between those numbers. That's how I think it works. I'll just go with that. It works for me pretty much every time. So that's going to stretch as you can see. It's up here stretching. Bang, it's stretched. So we're going to listen to it. And to know if that's in time or not, we can turn on this little metronome. It's like it gives us a beat without actually having a beat. Yeah, so it's you know, a little tick. So we have to line up our uh, acapella. Just so we know, you don't necessarily need to do this if you're making vocal cuts, but like if you're going to be remixing a song, um, you want to, you know, make sure everything lined up and then make the vocal cuts after you've struck. So that's a little bit out, so you want to zoom in. So that's perfect, that's in 128 beats per minute. So the first process we're going to go through is just manual cutting. What you want to do is you want to cut, because we've lined it up in beat, you want to cut it here so it's perfectly on the grid. And you, then you want to cut it uh, there, I think, what's that, 4, 8, 12, 16 bars. You want to solo it just like that. And then you want to make it brand, uh, you want to make it unique as a sample. So you're going to make it just that. That's all the sample will be, is what you can see. Click that, click yes. Save it to your downloads. Um, now it's just... If we continue that, it's not it's no longer um, the full song. So what you want to do is you want to assign that to a free mixing track, yeah? So you double click on it, go up here, root to free mixing track. So now it's on its own mixing track, which is channel five. We want to add these effects, right? These are all the effects I use. Fruity Parametric Equalizer 2, yeah? Bring that down, one under two, take the low end out. Uh, sound Goodizer, put that about one quarter. Kick start, it's going to side chain it. That one, reverb, pretty reverb two, about that, and then now we listen to it. Now we got to do. Um, now we got it like that. Uh, we got it here. We want to click here, chop, time base, chop in beats. Then what you want to do is you want to do that. Control C, Control V, put it down. Now you've got all these separate notes. So now you just want to find the good notes. That was a good one there. And you just want to make a melody with all these new sounds you have. Might turn the kickstart off now real quick. Then you just got to try and make a melody that sounds nice. So I got something basic down. It's nothing crazy. Uh, this acapella is a lot harder than I thought. Some acapellas, like, they don't have the greatest notes. Whaley's voice is incredible, but sometimes it doesn't work. I like working with female vocals. Um, it's a lot easier for me, I feel like, but this is like just a basic vocal cut just from putting it down. Sometimes you can pitch them up as well. Um, you got to find the right note. Sometimes it sounds better. It doesn't. See, that's going way too high already, so maybe we can go down. 200 cents, we looked all right. So that's uh, one way to do vocal cuts. You just grab an acapella and try and find all the good notes and try and make like a melody with all the different sounds and you can pitch them, add effects and whatnot. That's uh, what I've been doing a lot recently. That's probably my favorite way to do it. Um, you've got so much control, you can kind of see the waveforms and then you just yeah build them around like a puzzle. So that's a lot of fun. All right, so the second technique of vocal cutting is slice X. So I'm gonna pull that up right now. This is what it looks like. It looks like that. So what we want to do is we want to double click on our vocal. I'm using Love Scenario by Icon. It's got a lot of really nice um, sung, like stretched out sung notes, a lot of good vowels. So you double click on that. You want to go up here. You want to go all. I did this before, but it wasn't recording. So we're going to have to do it again. We're going to put it in Slice X. It's going to start singing. We're, we're doing it all again. 
double click on here, it comes up in slice X. Down here, we want to go there. Down to auto slice, medium auto slice. That's going to cut the song up into its own unique uh, piano note, as you can see. So if we listen to the song. Now, all we got to do is find the good notes. Every marker is a brand new note. So what we're going to do is put it on a mixing track, just like before. EQ2, take it close, kick start, um, side chain. Always put the side chain on the bottom because um, you want all your effects to happen then at side chains. Otherwise, you know, it'll side chain first, then the effects come through later. So a bit of reverb, sound good eyes, just to boost it, but not too much. Uh, a little bit of compressor just to get it a bit louder. Now we just gotta go back into here. Right click to go to the piano roll. Now we just gotta make a melody. So here's the one I prepared earlier uh, when I was recording, but the screen wasn't. So uh, marker 105 sounds like this. Here we got. And I just place them down and try to make a melody and it come out like this. See that note there wasn't that nice in that position, so you just try and find a better one. And just these little um, buttons here, they're like a slide note, so have you seen that, that note like went, oh, so you wanna, you can use that. Just like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but like everything, is just trial and error. Have fun with it. Just click around. Just like that. So that's how you use slice sex. It's um, quite simple. Put the acapella in, cut it up, and then bang, try find the nice notes and make a melody. All right, so this is the third and final uh, way that I vocal cut. I don't do it very often. I did it um, when I made that Tiger King meme. I don't do it very often though, so I'll show you how to do it still. Uh, what you want to do is you want to find a nice note that's sung like straight. It doesn't have like, you know, it doesn't go like, ah, ah. it's just going to be like that one note, yeah? So if we look through Don't You Worry Child, I'm sure we can find it. Right there, all right? So we want to zoom in. We want to cut that. We want to isolate it. And we want to make it unique as a sample. So we just get that little note there, yeah? Uh, now what we want to do is we want to, um, we need to go up to here, we need to go to unsorted and we have to drag this in to unsorted. Now it's in here, we can choose the pitch of it. So if it, if it wasn't in unsorted, you can't go through and change your like the nitty gritty like what uh, note it's, you can change what note and stuff it in but um, I think unsorted is just a lot easier to do. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to check what note it's in. So to do that you click here, pitch correct it like this and that's going to tell us it's in A. So when we go back to here, double click on it, go up to the spanner. I think, yeah, and then I think you need it to be unsorted to go into, I'm not too sure. Just always put it in unsorted. Then, so that's A, yeah, right click. That's going to root note it to A as you can see here. So now it's in A4. So now we want to add some effects to it, same as the other cuts uh, EQ, yep, reverb, kickstart. Sound good eyes are. Now when we go into our piano roll. Now we're gonna do a try the nice melody that makes sense, which is sometimes the hardest part, you know. See how that continuous sounds like shit, yeah? So you gotta See how that's a short note, but it plays the whole thing? That's, uh, you gotta go back up here, you gotta click on this sample, right? You gotta go this one, and then you wanna crossfade it. So that means if you stretch the note, it'll play the whole note. If you have a short note in your piano roll, it's only gonna play that little bit. Take the loop points off. Now, okay, maybe turn the loop points on for this one. Yeah, loop points need to be on. So some, some don't, some do. Now he's got to write a melody.
And um, yeah, it's all trial and error. And you can use the slide tools to make the notes slide. And um, just, yeah, just go nuts with it, have a lot of fun with it. So that was all just from Swedish House Mafia, don't worry, child, just like a little vowel that we found in the track. You can do that with pretty much any sound you want, like anything. But yeah, that was uh, three ways that I vocal cut. I hope it helped. Um, I hope it makes life a lot easier for you uh, producers out there. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, make sure to hit me up on Instagram, Nath underscore Jennings. If you'd like to see uh, another video on anything in particular, let me know about it. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.